It's time for developing stories. Kevin Green standing by, senior markets correspondent here on Schwab Network, taking a look at GE. Some new highs, seven-year highs. JP Morgan upgrading this one to overweight. I mean, this is a great one to talk about. Tell us more about this story. Yeah, it continues to move higher here, Nicole. And actually, it's been an outstanding performer, especially as an industrial company over the last year. And we are actually seeing, uh, as you said, JP Morgan increasing their price target on the shares to $180. And that's up from $166 and then putting an overweight rating on the shares as well. They are very optimistic when it comes to this name. They believe that they have a very premier management team. And they also believe that it's one of the best position large cap names that are out there. Now, one thing that was actually very interesting about this report, they also call out their Venora unit, which is actually their the green energy or their renewable energy unit here, which has around 54,000 wind turbines, 7,000 gas turbines uh, in the works here are actually producing around 30% of the world's energy. But what's actually very interesting is they are actually a little bit bullish on this name as well. And we are actually going to see a sell-off or a spin-off of this name, GE Venova, on April 2nd of 2024. So those that are actually holding at least uh, four shares of GE are actually going to be receiving one share of GE Vernova. So once again, a kind of a bullish note for that particular segment that has been a laggard when you're looking at its overall portfolio. All right. Thank you for that. Yeah, a good move there for GE. And then we take a look at MongoDB, which actually has a down arrow after the quarterly numbers. But I see some positive comments. RBC has a, a maintaining their outperform. Truist has a buy. But tell us a little bit about the story of MongoDB. So MongoDB actually did beat both on the top and bottom line. Their revenue actually increased around 27% on a year-over-year -year basis. And once again, the adjusted earnings per share uh, for the quarter actually beat the street's expectations. But it was the guidance moving forward, especially when you're looking at the next quarter here. They're looking at revenue coming in between 500 or 436 million and 440 million. The street was actually looking for 452 million. And their adjusted earnings per share estimate sits between 34 to 39 cents. Street was looking for 62 sense. So we are not only seeing a slowing on the top side, uh, top line number here, but Nicole, it looks like their expenses are also going to be increasing, which is going to impact their margins and then once again impacting their profitability here. So we did see some decent numbers for this quarter as far as the customer account growth that did also increase, but their guidance moving forward, like a lot of these cloud names, has been a little bit soft and we are seeing the stock sell off as a result here today. All right, thank you for both those stories. Kevin Green, great to see you. Senior Markets Correspondent.